Hello everyone and welcome back for the Walking Dead series playthrough. Well, we are in episode four, I guess, of season one now. We have made it to Savannah, but my goodness, it's not exactly very inviting. The first thing that happens is we got there and somebody decided to ring a big church bell to basically call all the zombies together, not for a church service, but more for a last supper and we were the dish. <laughs> <laughs> but we managed to get away from there. Chuck is separated at the moment. I'm still holding out hope that he's actually still alive. We got inside of a building and unfortunately had another very emotional moment with a child death scenario. If you've seen the episode, I'm going to leave it in the episode. I ain't going to bring it up here. It makes me too sad. But at the very end of that process, we found a guy that was standing right on the other side of the fence and then took off running. And we're assuming that that might be the same person that's been talking to us on the walkie talkie. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have a fantastic time. And if you do have an awesome time, it sure would help me out if you think about hitting that subscribe button. Okay, let's not delay any longer. Let's get back in here and see if we can find out who this mystery man is and what his real intentions are with trying to reach out to Clementine. Okay, here we go. Infected. Right there on the building. You know, that could be a clever way to try to keep people out is to put a big sign saying it's infected on the outside. Man, that vehicle is completely ripped apart. I got a feeling, if I had to guess, I think Kenny's going to end up sacrificing himself at some point. He's clearly not all there. You can see it in his eyes. They got huge bags under his eyes. I got a feeling we're going to end up in some situation where somebody's going to die and Kenny's going to like sacrifice himself to save whoever it is that's in danger because he's like, well, at this point, okay, keep an eye out for Chuck. You think we're safe? Oh, keep an eye out. Keep your eye out for Chuck. You might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. That meter went down too fast. I couldn't even read what the bottom one was. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Can't Whatever say. it is, it's going to get the dead moving over there. It sounded like it was further away. You know they're determined the when they're crawling. Is going on? It's somebody like controlling this city by using the church bells. I have no idea. Maybe they're trying to distract us. Maybe they're doing us a favor. I'm going with I have no idea. I have no idea, but someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> Pun intended. Yeah, if somebody has like church bells stationed in different places, Let's keep moving. maybe they can like control where the zombie mob is at and move around the city as they please based upon that. They're almost like using them like a weapon. That'd be clever. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my God. Oh, we finally made it to the shore. There's I mean, there is a, a boat. There's, there's a boat there. Be. Uh, let's just keep looking. Time for plan B. I don't think so. Let's, uh, I don't think so. Any man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Kenny, man. He's going to find a boat if it's nothing more than a log between his legs that he paddles out on. <laughs> Poor guy. This one might still be salvageable. Uh, this boat's messed up. You'd better be right about this. Wait, serious? Uh, dots. I have no comment on that one. I don't want to crush his hope. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Does it take a quarter? Yeah, that boat that's there. Like, can we take a look at it? I guess we can't really see. It looks like it was being backed in. And then uh, probably in a moment of panic, and then the person got killed or something. So if they can get it off those poles and out of there, it maybe it will. But if not, look how fast that water's moving. If not, that boat's going to sink quick, and they are not going to be able to get all the water out of that thing to repair it. 
At least that's my thought. I'm no boat expert, but that's my thought. Boards. East River. Oh boy, that was a lot further away now. It was Looks a quick. like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, cash register. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Yeah, probably not. If we need a quarter, though, to use that little telescope thing, maybe we can come back for that. Newsstand. An abandoned newsstand. Okay. AAJ. 680B? 1X2? Over. I don't know, is that some kind of code? What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Can I go down the alleyway here? I think I hear a zombie. Hope I don't regret walking down here. Okay, clearly there's something inside these apartments here. Maybe those markings have to do something with where the infected are currently found when they boarded the place up. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Oh no! What? What the fuck? What is this meant to be? Some Stay kind of out. warning? Or we'll do something like this? I think it would work. That's a 24 7 security system right there. Oh my goodness. Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? That's messed up. I, I, I see that it gives me the option to use my gun. I wonder if I can like shoot at him or something. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to work. That's for sure. Okay. Feel like we checked all that pretty good. That little telescope thing was it this way or further down? Okay, there's Kenny. There we go. Use. Great. Needs a quarter to work. <laughs> what I tell you? Oh. Damn. Built solid. <laughs> Thought I could maybe knock a quarter out of it. Oh, I was going to hit it again. Okay, we'll go check that register again. I got a feeling. I'm not going to ask Kenny. He's going to be like, do I look like I got a quarter on me? He's got some smart alec mark. You know what? Watch. Let's go ask him. Just to see if I'm right. I almost guarantee it. He's going to have some smart alec mark about not having money. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Okay, now we know Kenny ain't feeling right. <laughs> he was so calm about that. He did it even at a normal volume. I've actually had moments during editing where I had to like lower sections where he was screaming because he's so loud. I'm like, uh, sorry Kenny, you hurt my ears. Empty. Been too easy, right? Um, any chance there's something on the ground? Maybe check the pockets of these zombies over here. Right, I'm checking the ground level here first. I'm assuming it's not going to be the option to search the zombies. I mean, this one's got his back pocket pointed towards us, but who puts a quarter in their back pocket? Okay, go check back down that alleyway. The only other thing I could think of is we can walk further down the main street over there. Possibly. Can we check the dumpster in the back? The fact that we can walk over here keeps me thinking that there's something we can do here. Guess not. Oh, what's this thing? Nope. Okay, 
Let's go check down this street. Oh, we got over here. Oh boy, here we go. Maybe we can smash this. Locked. Wrench. Hello. <laughs> Boom. Ah. <laughs> Surprised somebody else hadn't already done that. What are you doing this? Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. My first thought when I saw the first car we passed was so much stuff missing. I was like, what in the world would you use that all for? But there's actually a lot of stuff you could do with, you know, some tires and things like that, especially using fuel. The doors, I guess, being ripped off would be a way to make like some barricades. If I had to guess. Must have been a hell of a wreck. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, we got, oh. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Ah! Probably things didn't go as planned. Kenny is still sitting there just staring at that thing. Kenny, if you ain't figured it out by now, buddy. I don't think you're going to. Alright, I wonder if I have a certain amount of time to do this. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus mm. someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Oh, he's just now seeing the barricade. What the? What the hell is that? <laughs> A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. That's a big building. Okay. No way that one's salvageable. Yep. That's a sunken boat. Check out the bridge. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Hmm. Nothing Upper. but water. Not a boat to be seen. Check out that view, though. It's pretty amazing. Especially that bridge and everything. Okay, that guy this way. Oh. Plenty of docks, no boats. I got a feeling if we are going to see something, I figured it'd be this way because that's the direction of the barricade. That's why I went left first. No sign of any boats down there. Oh. Did I miss or was there just nothing to be seen? And he's not going to be happy about this. Check across the bottom here one more time. Kenny, you want to take a look? <gasps> what the hell? Yo, it's Spider-Man. Get down. Get down. You believe me now, Kenny? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. See the Could bright red ranger. sweater? How about we go find out? Uh, we're not looking for trouble. Sounds like a plan. Maybe it's just a scavenger. Uh, we're not looking for trouble. Come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us? Oh, if he is. is, we can put an end to it right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're going to talk. <laughs> yeah, I still think it's a girl, and even during editing, I got to kind of see that moment a little better and i'm i'm almost certain this is a girl not a guy uh what the <laughs> oh 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 here comes oh i don't think i was fast enough 
Yo, Kenny. No! What's she doing here? Clem? Please, don't hurt him! Where's Kenny? He's just sitting over there watching all this? You're not from Crawford. Who are you? Uh, have you been following us? Crawford, you're not the guy on the radio. Uh, Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Oh my gosh. Kenny, you're very late. It's not our guy. Get her, uh... Kenny, no, it's not our guy! Good. He needs to be kicked on his butt once in a while. No, he's with us! Uh-oh. She's probably like, you better run. Who the hell are you people? Uh, everyone just calm down. I asked you first. Can you back off? Can you back off? I'm going to tell him to back off. You want this lady to give you another ass -whooping. Who are you calling lady? Her name's Molly. Molly! I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. Uh, ben was supposed to be watching her. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I'm from Macon. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, no, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Maybe. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the oh. dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Oh, no. Uh, back Finch, who's ringing those bells? What? Who's ringing the bells? Who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. I ah! some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? That's Is that fantastic. what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Uh, Clem, what are you doing here? Was that you at the back of it? Uh, why not you? Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Christy and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Mm. They're really? not giving me much because time. If it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. <laughs> That's debatable. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, was that you at the back fence? Why no children? What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Uh... Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survive. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. <sighs> right? Okay, that's not how we do things, but still. Children, uh, what did Crawford... Top one. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... Uh, I, mean, I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave. Along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Oh. Uh... Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. 
I, I hope that's not what happened with the parents to the kid we found. Everyone in Savannah knew what was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Mm. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Uh, I need to get back to our house. We're just trying to survive. We're looking for uh, we're looking for a boat. Down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Yep. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. Mm. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Oh no! Great. Just great. They've arrived! Isn't that the-, the way we came? Fuck! Gunshot must have brought him back! Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a- <laughs> Like I ain't wait for you. Guys. What the heck are you doing? Is there? Gonna let her go? Hey! I had no time to select anything. Here. Really? Watch! No! Please, please don't leave us! Let the time, man. Come on, make it fast. There was no time to pick a selection on that last one. Fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry! It quick. Lee, come on! Come on, Lee. Jump. One good jump. Oh, come on. No. Get on the dumpster. Get on the dumpster. No, don't push it. Just get on it. Uh oh. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! I'm going in the sewer. Can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Oh, quick! Hurry, hurry! Ooh. Better pull that lid back. Oh no! They're gonna come in with me. Is there a way to seal it from below? They're gonna start falling right in. <laughs> well, yeah, that one died, but they may not all die, dude. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oh, I can look. No going back now. Wow. Okay. Just a quick pause there, because again, I, I don't know if I'm on a time limit with these zombies coming at me. So, the the window selection for making the choices there were so small, too small. But the last one they did was like almost instant. I didn't get to see what they all were, let alone read them. So that's why I was just dots on that one, because I wasn't going to just pick something at random. But wow. Okay, so uh, it was Molly? I think it was Molly. So she's not necessarily joined the crew, but she's here. She's obviously been surviving here for a while. Part of me wonders, though, why she's still here. If she's combed the whole city, she knows the whole thing's picked clean. She doesn't want to go over and join them. Why doesn't she leave? and go try to find a new city. But maybe she's got a nice stock somewhere. Maybe she's got a place where she's held up and um, she's like, well, until these run out, I might as well hang out here. So I don't know, she's a neat character. I like that she's tough. Reminds me a little bit of Carly a little bit where she's not taking any crap from Kenny. Kenny, man, ugh. I don't know why. The idea was I would sneak up on her and then he was supposed to come out 
And then you could even see it. He was like crouched down in the background there while I was about to get stabbed and was not even coming out. Just staying right there. Kenny, come on, man. You need to pull it back together. So, uh, yeah. So Clementine's with us and we're a bit split up. Yeah, I was not expecting the, the boat to be an option. Okay. This place looks like it's kind of big, actually. That was nice for her to toss us her little pickaxe thing here so that we could get around. I mean, she barely knows us, and yet she threw that down here for us to use. And clearly, you know, she uses this thing a lot. We saw her climbing with it, swinging with it, everything else. That's so cool, too, that she was using the strategy I had thought up when uh, I was like, maybe they ring the bells to, like, move the zombies around. But she wasn't doing it, like, as a weapon. She was doing it as a distraction. Real solid. Built solid. Probably no two. Way I can pry that open. Okay. So I guess we're going down this little, little thing here. Ooh. I think I hear something. Oh, no. Ah. Slip. Yeah. Should have known that was going to happen, dude. Okay. Dead rat. Half eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here, too. I can pick one up. Ain't touching that. Oh. This thing I need is some god awful disease. Right? The dead are even catching and eating rats, huh? At least I kind of hope it was a dead zombie, not some person actually doing it. There's a pipe. It's a drainage pipe. Oh. There's definitely zombies nearby. Are they below us? Oh, crap. Back up. <laughs> My goodness. Can we get in here? Oh, no. Lock. Man, I saw a dot show up right as I looked around that corner. I bet I got to sneak up and try to get past these zombies. That's wild how they did the camera turn right there. Right here. Could be the way out. There's no way I can take on all of those things by myself. It says no dumping the sign over there. Oh. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. It's giving me the option to turn it left or turn it right. What else we got? Mm. Oh, nice. Okay, well now I got a way of escaping if I need to. What else can we do over here? Uh, okay, let's turn it right, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Mm, yeah, loose. at the moment. Oh, no. Shit. He said it seemed loose. Do I need to pry this off there? Let's pull it off. Okay, go right this way. Easy does it. Hopefully they haven't wandered out this far. Okay. Oh, is it looking this way, though? Right, I'm going to try to put the pipe thing on here. I guess we'll go to the right again. I don't know if it matters which way I turn it. Oh boy. Okay, let's go back into our little tunnel. Here they come. Okay. In there. Yep, go on in. Wait for them all to pass. 
Hopefully there's no crawler. But if I don't make any noise, I don't think it'll assume I'm alive, right? I don't remember how many there were. There was like five eating, and then there was the woman that was down further. Either she's going to be late, or I need to take her out. Let's wait just a second longer. No, might not be, might not be enough to get her attention. Okay, yeah, she's all the way down. Okay. Oh man. <gasps> no. Oh my God, Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Oh, Chuck. No bullets. He must have saved the Is he dead though? Himself. You deserve better, old man. Oh, Chuck. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, is a zombie down there? Oh, I used the gun first. No, no, no. The sound alert. No. <laughs> this. Oh, come on. Uh. Hurry up. And. Er. No, the gun. I guess trigger defaults the gun. Okay. No way I can pick that up on my own. I'm on a time limit now. Maybe. I'm gonna be able to pry these bars for this. No. Oh crap. Uh. Shit! It broke off. Oh no. The door is fucked. Oh no. The zombies are getting close. I'm about to get eaten, aren't I? Uh. Can't reach it. What do I do? I mean, that's not gonna do any good there, is it? Unless I jump and grab it, like she did. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? Oh! Pull it off there. Secret passage. Get in there. Man, I wanted. I pulled the trigger. I thought the default would be the silent weapon, but I was mistaken on that. Fallout shelter. It must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Oh my goodness, look at all these supplies. Wonder if someone's living down here. Uh look at all this. Right? To keep people alive for months. Okay. Well clearly there's somebody on the other side of that door. Looks like that's my only option. Okay. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Who are you? Oh my gosh. Uh, nobody. I uh, I could just ask you same. I don't want any trouble. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look. I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are right. you from Crawford? No. You don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? I'm just trying Everywhere to get out of here. here we're just dead. looking for a boat. We're looking for a boat. Start talking. I came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. We just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Oh, yeah, we know that now. Yeah. I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm not from Crawford. Threaten him. Sorry. Let's talk about this. I'm not from Crawford. Risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. 
Vernon, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Vernon! Just put the gun Relax. down. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. <laughs> You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. Were. We got okay. out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so... You're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. Oh. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. They found this a good spot. The basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Oh. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place <laughs> to survive. How right? did you find your way down here? Uh, that's not important. We were looking for a boat. Uh, walkers. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Uh, I'll be fine on my own. Can you show me? Oh, can you show me? Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Uh, I have to get back to Clementine. If you don't, I'll kill you. <laughs> Tom Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Um, I'm going to say no, because I want to still be honest. No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. Aww. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. We better not get this guy killed. Lee? I like him more than Ben already. <laughs> Aww. Was not expecting this on the other side of that door, that's for sure. The, the shock on look on my face was the same one they had on there. <laughs> oh. Wow, he Clementine? really did walk us all the way back. Clem? Well, there's Molly. We got dog Molly? food. That's about it. Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Uh, let's see, where, what are you doing? Here's the doctor. Where's Clementine? Uh, he, uh, where's, where's Clementine? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. Right, come on. Be nice. I think you have something that belongs to me. Yep. Say thank you. Oh, come on, Lee. Say thank you, dude. You would literally be dead right now if it wasn't for her. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Ooh, we got a doctor here. We now. have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? We ain't got nothing to help with, though. You have to help us. Oh, come please. on. Please. Be nice. She did say, please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Oh. I don't think he's gonna make it. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? 
Okay, looks like we're free to explore here a little bit. I got all these doors. Bathroom door. Clementine, you here? Oh, I hope she's not up in the attic. Okay, let's check this one first. Clem? Oh, door there. Ain't got time for that. <laughs> Dude, stop freaking out. You know she's here somewhere. Hello? My guess is she's probably up in the attic. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Got some boxes. I care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Oh, well now you're going to get to see what it's like when everybody else wants you to do a thing Clementine? and you keep getting distracted. <laughs> no sign of her in here. No, he didn't just like holler behind a dresser thinking she might be in there. I'm not gonna talk to her anymore. Something tells me she's not gonna be very conversative. Actually, she probably talked just fine. It's Lee who won't stop freaking out. Slamming doors and stuff. Okay. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Looks like we can look out the window. Maybe she's out back. Don't see her out there. Hmm. I don't know what this tension is they're trying to build. I there's no Clem? way Clementine there's any real tension here, you know? I'm only checking all these rooms because I'm curious to see what the place Clementine, looks like. You in here? Where is she? This might come back to be handy if we end up I don't know, people start Clementine? running in this place. I'll be familiar with the layout. But Lee is just overreacting. If Molly's here. There's no way. Clementine's drawing. Ooh. Clem's Aww. Drawings. But where is she? Aw. Your picture of him having to bury. Let's see if there's anything in the cabinet. Clem, you in here? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go find Clementine now, just cause I'm tired of him looking like an idiot. Come on, Lee. You're better than this. Clementine, come out, please. We've had people in really bad shape, and I go around talking to people, and he's all calm and collect and everything. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened. Ben, you since... let him drink. Uh, give me the bottle. Kenny, take it easy. Let's talk to Ben. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was going to rip my face off. Right. He won't listen to you. You think he was going to listen to me? To hell with you. Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? We found Chuck. <laughs> Go for it, Ben. Oh. <laughs> I was like, you've done just about everything else you can to, you know, make sure we don't like you. Doesn't look like she's in here. Yeah, we never really even got to see what these rooms look like. We just kind of opened the door to them. Doesn't look like she's in here. You know, the fact that he was checking in cabinets and behind dressers and stuff makes me wonder if she is hiding in something. Not just sitting somewhere. 
Doesn't look like she's in here. We might find her in like a kitchen cabinet or something. I hadn't thought about that. That would explain why he was like making all these random looking. I guess it wouldn't have seemed so odd if she had done that previously. Clementine, but... where are you? He's like checking places where she could be hiding. Here. I bet that's what she's doing. Okay. Bridge. Clem? Looks like I can't can't open any of these other cabinets here. Is she out back? I thought we already looked out the back window. Clementine? Clementine! Hopefully she didn't take off like trying to find me. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. We haven't checked the inside of that yet? Oh, I wonder if he's also nervous that maybe that guy has uh, shown up to snag her. She in the doghouse? Oh. Hmm. Look at the fence. There's no way she jumped the fence. Oh! Me! <laughs> She's been stuck. What were you doing in there? I told you not to wander off. Hey, girl. Uh, what were you doing in there? What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! Motorcycle? It's a boat! No way! I mean, it's kind of small. I don't know if we'd all be able to get on there, okay? This is here the whole time? Whoa! Uh, let's go with whoa. Whoa. I know, right? <laughs> oh, Kenny smiled. That was worth it right there. This whole episode, just for the smile, man. Poor Kenny, man. He needed a reason to smile. Now we gotta figure out how we gonna get it down to the water, though. Okay. What's taking Kenny so long? Krista, how are you holding up? How's Omid doing? Uh, let's go with the bottom one. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? I like Molly. I want her to come. Well, you want the good news or the bad news? Bad news. Always bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Uh, what about Crawford? We should, to stay put, let's search the streets. We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They Dang siphoned it. every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we uh -oh. have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, a you lot. don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. 
They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that in. place ain't exactly what we need by force. We negotiate. That's putting it uh, We sneak. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there on the Maybe the sewers? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. <laughs> we do. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. Surely they've we thought of that. right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. <laughs> but I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this! We have to! So, let's do it. Decided, Everyone okay with this? How do we... Crawford? Uh, let's do it. We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. So Are confidence. we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? I wouldn't trust him, even if he says he's in. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Hmm. I like him. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Uh, I don't know. No, don't worry. Yes, it'll be dangerous. Let's be honest. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah gonna be dangerous but it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working that's why we have to do this do you understand I don't want anyone else to die uh, that could happen neither do I no one else is going to die I I'm just gonna say neither do I neither do I Clem but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? She gets into a lot of places we can't go. It's the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Oh, uh, it's dangerous for children. It might be safer. I don't think they'll be there. Uh, Clementina, I think it'd be safer for you to stay I don't think she's going to stay. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better, oh. and, you know, he might try to hurt me. That's a very good point. Can't I come with you? Mm. No, I'm sorry. Yes, you can come. My goodness. At least I give you a good time to think this about. She brings up a good point. And if she's going to be here by herself with him, that's not a good idea. I'm going to say yes. I hope I don't regret this. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm going to go get ready. You don't exactly have a good track record of doing that. <laughs> I hope I don't regret bringing Clementine with us. I, I just can't help but think, a guy as smart as this Crawford character, how would he not have thought of covering the sewers or blocking them or something? They could be just dropping a bunch of zombies down there and letting them guard it that way or something. I don't know. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Everybody weapon up. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? Not enough room. So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, 
There ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Oh, he brought company. Who the hell is this? this don't be is so rude. rude. You can help us. Uh, we don't need her help. The more the better. How? Uh, the more the better. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. She put the hood on. I feel like I got, uh, I got Corvo with me or something. Or Emily in this case. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I this said? This isn't up for debate. She can help. I can't leave her. Can take her in there I'm going to say I can't leave her. her. I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. The way you took that was kind of funny. Wow. This should be it. We're right underneath the center. Okay, don't worry. I'm not ending the episode right there. Uh, wow. So, we got a couple new people with us. I'm glad that Bree is with us, because now if something were to happen to the doctor before this is over, Bree won't be like, yelling and screaming at us is like we got him killed it was all our fault and stuff no she's like on board with this now apparently she likes the idea of maybe being able to get in there get some supplies uh leaving clementine behind i don't know if that was actually something i could do like the fact that they give you a long time to think that over almost makes me think that you can ultimately choose to leave her behind or take her with you i chose to take her because the point that she brought up is a good one uh, I hope Omid is still okay by the time we get back. But my thought is, you know, if not that, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. And if she's with us, yeah, they see children as a weakness. But it sounds like they wouldn't just kill the child. Or they didn't just kill the children. They just kind of let them out on their own. Well, I feel like Clementine, if they set her outside the gate, she'd probably be able to survive for a little bit. You know, just hiding and running and stuff. Um, but it definitely seems like the smarter move here was to bring her with us so that we do have her as an asset because there's been many times where we couldn't get into something because it was too small of a space and because of her, we were able to get in there. So I would not be a bit surprised if there's somewhere in this scenario where having her and being able to get into a small space is going to be helpful. Also, super, super happy that Molly is with us. I wish Lee would talk to her more kindly. It's like I can't even pick the suggestions in a way to where he talks to her nicer. He needs to get over it just because she knocked him down. I wasn't expecting him to walk up on her and hold up the big old spike anyways. You know, he said we're just going to go talk. Well, it doesn't look like you're going to talk when you walk up and hold a big old the, the wrench, I think is what he was using at the time. It's like, come on, dude. You should have walked up to hello or, you know, put your hands up like you surrender or something, you know, something like that. But, you know, he put himself in a bad situation. Molly's actually been way more cool about it than Lee is. And I, I hope Lee gets over it here as we move forward. Sarah Crawford, the old school should be directly above us. Okay, people, this is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need. And we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. <laughs> I don't know, something about this. The way, it's, the, the fact that it's just silent. I feel like something's going to happen the moment we open this door. Like, all that speech we just gave right there, I feel like we're going to open the door and it's going to mean nothing. I can't get a good look above with the cover on. Let's go. Whoa. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. 
It's either a trap or they're all dead. The door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. He's got a big gun. What the fuck? Oh no. Huh. Are they all dead? I actually kind of prefer it if they what are all zombies, I think. What is Walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Like, like Molly was saying, it's not hard to fool the, the dead if you're, if you're careful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Fuck! Fuck! Why do, do everything so us? loud? Uh, no idea. Definitely, I don't know. Uh, I had no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Your answer scared Clementine a little. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end. The dead always win. Oh man, we are so mm. screwed. No, this is good. Yeah, we should be able to get supplies now, right? Uh, we should leave now. He's right. How's it? He's right. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. Mm -hmm. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do yeah. you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? She's been his live bait. I'm up for it at this Come point. On. I think I know which way to head. <laughs> oh. I got a bad feeling about this. We can't trust him. Oh man, it looks like they got rooms they were trying to board up the, the sick. Just keep moving. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's not going to do any good to look. If it's not a room we need to go into, Here. let's avoid it. Looks okay. Everybody in. Yeah, everyone's been so scared to go into Crawford's area. This place might be just sitting with a ton of supplies and nobody knows because they're all scared to go in there to even look. Armory. Oh, dang. Figures. I was like, don't tell me it's locked. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Ask Bree. Here. Just give me a sec. Uh, fuel medicine, um, fuel. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, battery. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Herman's? What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. 
How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Probably been sneaking around in here before. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. And I'll go Clem with you. Watch your back. And Clementine? Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? We should buy that. You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Back before you know it. Okay, now this setup is over. We got the huge room of zombies right down the hallway. If Ben makes too much racket trying to get that armory door open, you know, it wouldn't take very far for them to come to be able to try to get in here and get them. And we know Ben is not going to try about Karen Clement or taking care of or saving Clementine, even if he says he will. Just a bunch of paste. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Yeah. Pamphlets. Oh, there's that symbol. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Number of ineligible citizens found. Initials of person conducting search. Days since outbreak. 71. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. Number of walkers found. Oh, ineligible meaning there's like they're sick or crippled or something like that. So in this scenario, there was one person left behind, two that were brought, three walkers were found there. Days since outbreak, 71. You know, I was kind of wondering what the new, you know, where we were on the timeline here. So 71 days since the outbreak. Now... <sighs> We stayed at the then we stayed at the motel for three months. Or maybe this is just an example. Or it could even be an old it might be just an old paper. Okay. So we're we're at least 90 plus at this point. Very interesting. It's cool to get an answer to that. Creepy. You know, I just realized too. They've done a good job of distracting me from it, but might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Uh, the creepy guy that was standing outside of our fence? We don't really have any uh, idea who that is or where they were at no now. Power, no TV. He might still be watching us. When he sees we leave Clementine back behind, he might take the opportunity to sneak in here and snag her. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Because we know Ben gonna hide. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. So I wonder if I'm going to end up going to all three places. I'm assuming not. But the fact that he recapped that makes me wonder. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. If we're going to find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Okay. So where are we at? Headquarters, right here. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to make a left, a right, and a right to get to the stairway. So does that mean all those people that we saw, they're in the records room? Looks like there's two doors through the library there. That might be important to know. 
Okay. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to Ben one time before we... Before we go blasting off. Okay, talk to Ben. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Okay, I'll let you add it. You're plenty useful. That uh... I'd make a nice change of pace. Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Ah, uh, I couldn't read what the bottom one was, but... It... There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Mm. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? Oh. It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Well, that's your choice, dude. Uh, how many times are they? Sh you should tell him. I agree. <laughs> I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. Mm -hmm. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I Makes hear sense. you. I'm gonna get back to this. Man, they're the time to select is so short. Come on. Now, I know I have had some people say, you don't need to read them out loud. Out loud. You'll be able to do it faster. But then we'll have these awkward moments where I'm just like, okay, I'm choosing that. You know, I just feel like that would be really weird. So I'm trying my best to read them and then make a selection. And in the end, if I pick one I didn't really agree with, it is what it is. All right, can I talk to him again? How are things going with that door? Slowly but surely. So this is one of the first real important tasks that we've given him. I'm curious to see how he holds up. I mean, sure, he used to stand on top of the RV to guard, but we now know that wasn't exactly very reliable. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Really? Uh, I miss teaching, so do I. Um, let's go with I miss teaching. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Ah, <laughs> in my kid's favorite school. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? No. Uh, nobody knows. I don't think so. I'm going. I don't think so. I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Yeah. Okay. Look through the door. Okay, that's where we're going to conclude this episode. Wow. Well, we got confirmation that Chuck is dead. It kind of stinks, too, because he managed to escape from that fight he was in, and he got down into the sewers somehow. I don't know how. I mean, we needed a crowbar in order to, you know, get the, the lid off that thing. What weapon was it he had? Wait. I don't remember what weapon it was he had. So maybe he had something that he could have pried it open with, but... Unfortunately, he's gone. He, I noticed that Lee hasn't actually even mentioned that to anybody yet. I don't know if he'll bring that up at some point or not. Uh, we also have the hard decision of knowing who's going to get on the boat and who won't. I got a feeling... So the, the doctor and Bree, obviously they won't want to go on the boat. They're going to stay here with their friends. I got a feeling Omid, even if he's made better... 
I don't know. Maybe they'd be like, look, he can't survive here. Let's send him. And so if we sent him, then we would send his girl with him. Um, Molly, Molly clearly has something that she's not sharing with us. She, she knew what was going on on the inside of there. The only thing I can suspect is that she's known for a while that Crawford's is overrun by zombies. I think she used to be a part of it and she managed to escape. And so she's the one running around outside of the Crawford's because she knows that that it's nothing but full of zombies inside there. There might be supplies and stuff. The the only other thing I think of is that she knew that there were a lot of supplies in there and she's been trying to keep them for herself. But I don't know why she would risk going around the city ringing bells and everything else if she kind of already had a huge supply of supplies. Unless she's just bored. But she doesn't seem like that kind of a person to me. So I think she knew it was overrun by zombies. She might even know how it happened. And then she managed to escape. That's my current guess with Molly. I think she's fine. I think she's safe. I don't think she's going to turn on us or anything. Uh, I think she would have done that already. She had an opportunity to do it already by not tossing us that weapon. Um, but I, I, I don't think she's going to do anything. Ben, I have my doubts about. I think it's going to be some situation where that guy that was staring at us at one time, he's going to show up there somehow, get up there to where Ben and Clementine are at, and he's going to try to snag Clementine, and Ben's going to hide. I think he's going to hide. Now, maybe he'll man up and try to save Clementine and get killed in the process, which I think would be the other scenario. But he he seems he's at least struggling a little bit with the fact that he hasn't told Kenny. I, I don't know if that's really going to help anything. But at the same time, I, I understand where he's like, look, I, I'm spending a lot of time with Kenny. And it's really weird not saying anything. So we'll see how that plays out. Ben might be... Ben might not be allowed on the boat if he tells him too soon. But we got to get the fuel, the battery, and the medicine. But then we still have to figure out how we're going to get the boat from the house to the water. They haven't really talked about that at all yet. It's not like we can hook it up to a car and drive it there because we would need another battery and more fuel to do that. If we're going to just grab it and push it, I mean, that's probably doable with enough people. But, you know, then we got to worry about noise and all that kind of stuff. So... I don't know. Anyways, loving the game. This thing is fantastic. So glad to hear you guys are enjoying this playthrough as well. It's doing so well on the channel. You guys, the comments have been fantastic to read. And I'm going to go out, record my next intro, and get right back in here to see where things go next. I, there's no way I'm stopping tonight. I'm way too curious. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.